have extreme value and extreme freshness. We certainly do. And my sweet, what are you doing today with this gorgeous watermelon? Well, Sonia, um, you know what? We're going to be doing a lot of fruit today because it's just beautiful, it's in season, it's lovely and fresh. It looks stunning. This time of the year, you know, you might want to make something really fancy. And I can see you're going to be doing something too. Yes, I'm going to be making some beautiful fruit skewers today and doing with a couple of different Yum. dipping sauces. Yum. Yeah, so we've got a gorgeous dessert yogurt from our farmer's culture. Yeah. And we've made up a look, and this one's really lovely. It's got a caramelised balsamic in it oh. with a little bit of cream cheese and just a spoonful of mascarpone oh, to make it nice and smooth. Beautiful and healthy. Well, mm. yeah, very healthy, right up my alley anyway. And then we've got our gorgeous honey coated cashews, oh. which we've just chopped and crushed, which will end up rolling our beautiful beautiful skewers in Yum. and we can't have a few fruit skewers without chocolate. Oh thank goodness. And our dipping chocolate. I was worried yes. that wasn't So we've got that as up. well. Wonderful. So we've got a couple of different options today. We certainly have and you know what you can never have enough fruit. Absolutely not never. and it is the strawberries. I wish you could smell it. The strawberries oh, smell divine. Everything is so fresh. It's beautiful. Everything here is so fresh. So what I'm going to do is just show you a very simple carving which um, looks really fabulous on a table. And you know you go to hotels and you see these incredible carvings. Oh, yes. This is not like that. This is something that anyone can do. So oh, well, and it looks divine. So yeah. is this what you're going to be trying to this, show us today? I'm gonna today. try to show you that. I'm showing me I'm not very artistic. That. This that's is one. beautiful. That's, that's one I did earlier. It's gorgeous. Yeah, but you know what, how you do it? I'm going to talk about how you do it, and I think Sonia's going to do a few preps with her fruit. I am. So we won't be wasting time. No, no. But if you decide to do a nice melon carving, choose yourself a watermelon, okay? Now we've got a wonderful range of seedless watermelons and seeded watermelons here, and these ones are, are, are more circular, and you choose one that looks like it's, yeah, it's good to carve. You kind of just know it's got a nice shape it's not too marked it's fairly even, even. and um, it'll sit there you can also nip the bottom off if you don't oh, want it to be wobbly just sit it flat um, yeah so firstly you choose your watermelon then secondly what you need to do is make a first incision so you need some really good tools and everybody's pretty much got these tools in their kitchen nice sharp knife a nice little paring knife a little melon scoop. scooper and what I've done is I've got a couple of other scoops that I've used and they're just little ice cream or gelari oh, okay and they do a great job as well at scooping they'd be easy to get the flesh out of your watermelon if you want to get it out really quickly and I also use for the hard work a great big spoon now don't think oh you know I'm gonna waste some of this stuff because you're paying good money Ooh. for a melon you want to know you're gonna use it what I do is I save all of the bits that I don't use and use them as smoothies later on oh perfect and pop them in the freezer ready to go yeah perfect so once you've cut into your melon and I normally mark with a marker just a little rough design so I've done a very simple basket because, style yes so if you've got a whiteboard marker you can draw on your melon Give yourself a bit of a guideline and then use those markers to cut into it. Now I've obviously started this one because it's something you need to give yourself a little bit of time for. Well, we don't want to rush it do you? So I've balled all of the main part of the body of this watermelon and these are the little bits of leftover parts that I can't use so I scoop them out. And this is something you need to have a good area where you don't mind getting a bit of mess yes. happen. And it's good, like you said, to use this for smoothies or even freeze it and have it in your fruit salads. It would be awesome. It's beautiful. It really is. So you carve out the inside until you've got pretty much a hollow shell there. Okay? And then, because I'm making it into a basket, I'm going to do a little bit more cutting. So. This is something kids can do, but I suggest that you let them do the decorating part rather than the actual hard work. Yeah, using the bigger knife. Using the big knife, because you don't want any little accidents it's, in the kitchen. So it's a better idea to scoop it all out, obviously, than to... And, oh, look, you've got your little basket. Yeah. Scoop it out because it's easy to cut through the skin when most of the flesh is already out of it. That's... It is right. Yeah. yeah the, the first cut's always with the flesh First, in, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. And then you scoop it out, you do your boiling and get all your really good little parts and then you do your main scraping out of all the little superficial parts it's, that you can't use. Yeah, it looks beautiful. In, in your juice, yeah. Looks really so, lovely. We've got that happening. 
And you know what, from here, you can get as fancy as you want. Um, I mentioned some little tools. If you go to an art supply shop, you can pick up some very sharp little chisels and they're actually called lino cutting tools. Oh, is that what you use? Yeah, lino cutting tools. Just... My secret's out. <laughs> lino cutting tools. Usually under $10 for a packet. Right. And they're quite helpful if you want to do any fancy carving. Carvings. If you're more confident and you want to try that, then that's what you can do. But I'll show you a couple of really simple cuts. Um, once you've got your basic shape, if you want to do something similar like that, this is where the little paring knife comes in handy. You can make yourself a star. And a star is a very simple process of just stabbing it in on a bit of an angle and you can draw yourself a pretty little star. Ta. And then just cut into the main body of the melon. It looks unreal. And can you, it's better to do that with your knife than the little lino um, tools you just said? Yeah. Yes, the knife yes. is a little bit better because, you know, uh, you can get a deeper cut. The lino tools are for kind of shallow cuts. Okay. Yeah. So you can just do... You could put candles or anything in these, couldn't you? Well, I have done them before, uh, where you keep most of the shape of the melon and then you carve uh, the guts out. Okay. And then you pop a little tea, tea light, light in it. it. That and would it look beautiful. Really nice. And then your best thing, but you could eat it later. That's right. <laughs> Never waste it. So that's a very, very simple thing. And like I said, with your nice little lino tools, you can carve a shape in there. And all I'm doing is just threading. We've got little skewers today. These are the little wood ones. Normally on a barbecue, you'd have to soak them. Seeing that we're using um, fruit, you don't have to. So about two to three pieces of fruit on each skewer is ample. So yeah. just like that. They're nice. They look so effective. Be great for the kids. It would be. So I'm just running this little tool. One of the things you must remember is always keep your fingers behind the sharp edge. Okay. Oh, yes. You don't Otherwise want you're not your with fingers in front of, No, you don't want to have an accident, believe me. The blood doesn't look good on the fruit. No, it wouldn't do. So <sighs> should I start dunking some of these? You certainly should. So this is our little ones. I'm going to use our beautiful cream cheese and mascarpone in balsamic. Yum. So we just dunk it in like that. Yeah. Oh, good. It's very rich, so you only need a little bit yeah. and then back on the nuts. Yum. And I'm going to eat one of these. Um, I might have to join you, actually. I have to... Um, Try one of these, excuse me. Oh. Oh, is yeah. that good? Mm. Wonderful. Ooh. Oh. It's like a quagmire, that one. It is, it's very thick, isn't it? It is. There we go, my love, you try that on the strawberry. Oh, well. But these are so easy. Our fruit is so beautiful and fresh. Coming into the um, the Christmas rush now, so all our beautiful fruits ready for your gorgeous powder for Christmas Day. Mm. This is just another way of serving our beautiful fruit. And of course, Terry's gorgeous basket, which we all hope you have a go at home because it looks fantastic. It certainly does. Doesn't it? So, you just finish along doing that. Get your fruit. I've cut a few extra things. If you've got a little baller, you might want to just make a couple of little balls. Oh, that's a beautiful pawpaw. Paw. It is beautiful. It's very simple to do. And like I said, all of the leftover bits, they go in your smoothie. Yes, please don't waste anything because it's too beautiful to waste. Okay, so look at that. Wonderful, simple things for you to do. Absolutely, and for something market. for the kids to do too. It'll be just lovely to do it, it as a family. Certainly will. Yes. So you remember, Bunbury Farmers Markets, we're open seven days a week where all of our fresh produce is straight from the local growers to you at home.